interesting story that developed over the weekend was um or oh, just over a couple of days some guy uploaded a video i guess he's some sort of um youtube fitness influencer influencer dude up to upload a video of him catching his fiance in bed with some other guy um i'm assuming this is him because he's made the video unlisted um so I'm, I'm assuming he's you know maybe regretting his decision to do so but i think the funny thing obviously it's not funny because somebody's heart has been broken i can i can't imagine what it must be like walking in because i've always had the impression especially some of the more um high flying couples right the couples in a cel- in, in, in you know the celebrity couples let's say i've always had the assumption that they have this unwritten rule between them where as long as you don't bring the mess home and you don't publicly embarrass them, then whatever you do outside the house is up to you. Of course, it's only going to be on your own conscious and you have to kind of look your own kid in the eye if you have a child with this person and kind of <coughs> rationalize, <coughs> sorry, and sort of rationalize how you are treating their parent or their mother specifically. But I would imagine that's the way they kind of uh make it happen and make it work because unfortunately in those environments if you're a celebrity as many sharks as there are in terms of your career um in terms of trying to extract money from you in terms of paying agent fees and manager fees the, those sharks exist too in the form of very attractive eastern european women who will do anything to sleep with you just so that they can have you on their scorecard or that they can um you know um, in worst case scenario extort you somewhere later down the line so it's a, yeah, it's a name of the game but some of the guys are willing to play that game but i can only imagine what that must happen on the other side right because i think guys have a bit of a double standard um i think women are probably a little bit more easier of forgiving cheating than men are for some reason so if your lady was to catch you cheating in a very public manner, right, she would probably be more inclined to forgive you and let you kind of work your way back into the home. I'm not saying all women would do it, but some, I guess the majority of women probably would. Whereas men are going to take that as an affront to their ego. Somehow that's an indication that you have a small penis. I don't know. Guys have a weird sense about that, but it does seem to be quite a common thing that happens about girls cheating on their boyfriends, which is, you know, luckily I don't think it's ever happened to me. I wouldn't know actually, in it, to be honest, because I don't really ask those questions. I'm kind of, uh, I would la- I would rather be gleefully unaware than be exposed to some sort of level of radical honesty just for the sake of the relationship. Like, no, thank you. Keep your honesty. I'd rather not know. But um, if you do find out in this sort of way, how do you deal with it? walking in on your pet on your partner's in a in your bed in your marital bed right the bed that you bought from ikea the bed that nearly broke you up as a couple right because you had to put it together because you know you know damn well flipping putting together ikea furniture is either a test of your family ties right do you really love your mom and dad if you put together ikea after you put uh together a bloody bookcase from ikea or do you really love your partner after you put together a bed frame and imagine you put that bed frame together you've um annihilated your fingertips with that crappy allen key that ikea send you that is probably made for a five-year-old or that they kind of use to build them in their sweatshops and now some other dude is laying in there and when he lays in there and you confront him he decides to pull a fast one and pretend he's sleeping which is what this video is about <laughs> let's play it for you now oh this is hilarious the dogs are barking he's walking into the home and they're on the settee too right that's that, that, that that's what makes it even more like gross they're not even um he, he hasn't even got the decency yeah, right, to take her to the bedroom or like he's 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 acting as if he's in his own home in his own home he's acting as if he's laid up on a little bla- on the on the couch with a little blanket on after he just busted a nut probably right deep inside his lady's part, lady parts deep inside of his lady's lady parts as it, <laughs> to be corrected like imagine how much you would be raging seeing this scene holy shit he turns on the lights they're both they're both lights she wakes up sees him and what's she say morning. uh morning what up good morning get out wake get up, out telling her to get out look he's pretending you're to so sleep fuck. you're get so out. fucked you guys played the fucking game get act out. like you're sleeping <laughs> ah, if a man touches your stomach like that right abdomen bop 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 and for sure he's tensing, so he's definitely not sleeping. For you not to wake up, that is that that reminds me. Do you remember when back in the day when it to happen to us sometimes when we were forced to go to church on the Sundays and you didn't want to go? And some days you'd just be like, you know what? 
I'm in the African household. I know if I don't go, I'm going to get beaten up black and blue, right? I'm going to get a flipping sandal to the back of my head, a belt to the back of my ass, but I don't care. I'm willing to put up with the beating just so I don't have to go to church again. And you pull a fast one and pretend like you're sleeping. So what sometimes you do, if you're smart, you'd stay up the night before, your mum would tell you, I'll keep going to bed, go to bed. You pick up people, no, I'll go, I'll go do this thing. And then you purposely oversleep, but you're not really sleeping, right? But then you'd hope that she remembered that you were up until 4 a.m. playing the games. But then obviously, most of, more often than not, your mum would have any patience or your dad would just, you know, more often than not, they just pull the blanket off my bedroom, open all the cu- open the curtains and pull the window open and then just have the door open, like the main, the door, <laughs> your bedroom door, so that you're hearing the entire madness. And if you know anything about an African household when you go to church, it's like, you, it's, it's like the day before you go to a wedding. Do you know what I mean? People are, um, where's my shirt? Iron this. Where's my shoes? My socks? But have you got the keys where's the sandwiches like it's just an absolute madness so imagine what how loud it's going to be in your room once your mom or dad opens your window takes off your duvet and has that door wide open with a door stop on it so there's no chance of it kind of creaking back shut wide wide open you have no other option but to wake up so this is what that guy tried to do but imagine being someone else's because imagine usually for me i'm not sure about you guys but even if i sleep over at a close friend's home right i'm never that comfortable right you're never like super oh yeah, yeah i'm just gonna sleep like a fucking baby you've kind you're kind of asleep um uh in word in the word alone right you're sort of kind of like resting your eyes for, for lack of a better phrase but any little thing is going to wake up because you're not in a familiar environment your your whole body your whole mind is telling you hey you're not in the right place to really go comatose so you just kind of you know kind of keep one eye open so for this guy to stand there to sorry to lay there and pretend he doesn't hear anything especially once the dog's bark start barking and him and his and the lady is actually screaming at the guy to go away which is a weird reaction you get caught cheating you're telling your guy to go away it's like huh I'm playing the fucking game. Get Look out. at. Not even to mention, she's, you know, again, it's not, it's, that's not the case. That's not really matter. She's not the prettiest girl in the world, is she? Right? So that's usually the more of a big dent to the ego, right? You feel as if you're doing your girlfriend a favor by being with her because she's a bit clapped. <laughs> and then you walk in and your clapped girlfriend is cheating on you <laughs> with some guy that looks like a uh, murder beats. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think this is going to? What do you think this shit's going to? Oh my god. Why ignore me? Does he know you went out with me earlier? Oh my god. I'm gonna fuck it all up just like you fucked me up. Oh my god. I'm gonna play the same god. game. Hey, Brandon. Wake up, brother. He knows his name. You're Brandon. Wake the f- <laughs> oh, Brandon. <laughs> fuck up, bitch. Okay. It's not that uh, big of a deal. He's Brandon. not waking up. There he is. Where's your fiance? Lucas. You're waking up now. Where's she at, bro? Oh my oh, call god. Him, call, him. call the cops. Uh, my name's on this. Hold on, where's this fiance? So, so Brandon's got a fiance. His girlfriend's obviously. Well, what? His, so, his wife. Is that his wife? Is that the name of the video? It says his cheating wife, right? So, that's his wife. God damn it. Cops just like you. She's going to call the cops to do what? Brandon, what did you do? Own up, man. Yeah. What is this shit, bro? He's got his phone in his hand. Your fucking face. <laughs> uh, I you, can't believe the, this. The blows you'd be getting in your face if that was me. The blows you'd be getting in your face if that was me. You'd be getting elbows. You'd be, you know, you, you know that good UFC ground and pound. You know that ground and pound that Masvidal um did to uh what's his face when he knocked him out in four seconds. And he said afterwards that was very necessary. You know those extra two hits. You know the ground and pound that John Jones did to um. Uh, D- DC second fight right where he kind of laid laid lay a couple more g- glove hits on him right didn't really need to excessively do that you know that kind of black ground and pound that RDA ground and pound that could be that Magomedov ground and pound where you just you know you don't care or you know that ground and pound where you get someone in the crucifix and you're just bang one arm is locked up and you're just bop 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 that would not end well and that's a that's the issue right? I think that's why that's why if you're a lady and you do want to cheat on your fella you have to do it in a more incandescent way. You have to do it in a more covert way. You just can't be so flagrant like this. You really can't because there really is no telling what your guy could do when he sees that. Like dudes have, and, and again, I don't know what it is. Maybe it is a sense of like ownership because we do have a double standard, right? Like I said, women are more likely to forgive uh, adultery than guys are. But guys also feel ownership on girls who they constantly cheat on when really you should be like, hey, you know, karma's karma, right? If you're going out there and 
smashing whatever moves you have to also be um you also have to kind of come to realization or tell yourself or allow yourself to believe that if that does happen to you it's it, it was more than worth it you know it's so you had it coming basically but guys aren't like that i don't know why that is but honestly you can't again warning to all females out there you cannot do this with a dude this flagrantly you can't be having a guy that you're hooking up with laying up in your room in your living room as if like you guys are a couple like nothing else is going on and have him pretending he's sleeping because this could end badly like someone could legitimately die shit Tara, what you just did to Jesus me, Christ. I want you to remember this shit. Jesus Forever. Christ. I don't, I'm not pussyfooting around. Jeez. She, look at her, look at her. She's butters as well. Like, in, well, absolutely, like, this is the thing that's uninteresting about it. Like, you know, but again, you can't help who you fall in love with, but God damn it. She must have some fire because she is clapped. Your husband is at his house while well, you're with a cheater. <laughs> All right, I have it on video. I'm out. Brandon, you don't have anything to say. All right, just sleeping with my dogs. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm leaving. Tell him I'm leaving. This Jesus Christ. This is all I needed. He moved out with his friend. But Jesus Christ. Tell him you're sleeping with someone Jesus, who's what cheating on his fiance. Jesus Tell Christ. <laughs> Look at the, the female gaze, man. <laughs> when girls are scared and they're trying to like get themselves out of the situation. To be fair to her, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? In this situation, you've got a big angry dude in front of you who happened to be your ex-husband it looks like they may be getting a divorce we don't know what's going on you have to play your cards right just so you can get out of this alive so you're not going to cave your head in because those dogs aren't going to help right i don't think those dogs are the most attack friendly dogs in the world right you one of the dogs is even flipping lying up next to the guy right look look at that one dog there no loyalty right look at that one there at the back no loyalty the cat is chilling the other dog's chilling like dogs just have no idea what's going on so the dogs aren't going to help in situations so if you're this girl you kind of have to have this like bewildered look on your face and sort of hoping that he doesn't you know punch your face back into the back window of that toilet you're standing in but jesus christ mate that's probably every guy's nightmare isn't it really and truly you don't, because I, I get, I get, like I said, I don't think any guy would want this to happen to them, even if they are a cheater, because they don't know what they'll do themselves. They don't know how they would react, and they don't, they, and they can't really trust themselves to be rational and to be grown up like this guy is, recording it, having a record of it, you know, throwing out some insults and then leaving. You, you can't trust yourself to happen. You're gonna do something mad, and imagine the fallout from this. The family's affected. Her family seeing this happening. The dude who's got a fiance cheated on his fiance with this lady. It's like God almighty. Mad just imagine, just imagine someone proposes to you and then the next minute you find out that, you know, he didn't go to soccer practice. He was slaying up with this lady, you know, that's like a two and a half out of ten. It's like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, not that it matters. I mean, even even if he was laying up with bloody Megan Good, it wouldn't make any. It wouldn't make the world a difference. But come on, man, come on. But yeah, interesting, isn't it? Interesting one again. What would you do in that situation? Would you pummel the guy's face in? Would you kind of blame your girlfriend more or your wife more? Would you cry in the driveway smoking a cigarette? What? How would you deal with this situation? I've already told you what I'd do. I'd be grinding and pounding that bat motherfucker until his eyes bleed. Um, you know, I'd probably see red completely black out and then wake up in a pool of blood, right? And then be like, okay, fuck it, I'll go to prison, you know, go to prison, read loads of books, do loads of push ups and sit ups, <laughs> start a charity for men <laughs> or something. That's what I'd probably do, right? But that's probably not the sensible idea. But yeah, let me know what you do in the comments down below in this situation because, wow, what a story.